everyone, my name is Victoria, I'm the social media contributor at CORE and today we'll be talking about Bitcoin ETFs. As Bitcoin and the crypto asset space have become more popular, various novel ways of investing in them have been developed. One way that has been the subject of many conversations is an exchange-traded fund, commonly known as ETF, focusing specifically on Bitcoin. In today's video, I will provide you some background information on how ETFs work before covering attempts to build on the Bitcoin ETF and the consequences this will have on digital assets. All of this will be of interest to the core chain and core enthusiasts because core was built from the ground up to align with the Bitcoin ecosystem. So what is Bitcoin ETF? ETFs are baskets of assets and they are usually made to track an index or a part of the economy. Rather than buying shares of random biotech companies, for example, you could buy shares of a biotech focused ETF and quickly gain exposure to a variety of biotech companies all at once. Well, the same thing is true for a Bitcoin pot ETF. Such an ETF would allow traditional investors to gain exposure to Bitcoin, but without the research into crypto wallets and private key storage that occupies so much attention in Bitcoin circles. It would also provide a safer, more regulatory avenue by which to invest in the Bitcoin boom. Though self-custody is still preferable if you're able and knowledgeable enough to manage it. A Bitcoin spot ETF will act as a bridge between the traditional finance and Web3 domains. Until now, they've had relatively little contact, but an ETF will change that dramatically. The historic approval of Bitcoin ETF. Recently, this process took a major step forward. On Wednesday, January 10th, 2024, the first Bitcoin spot ETF's approval was announced by the SEC. Applications from 11 issuers, including Valkyria, Fidelity, Hashtags, ARK, Invest, BlackRock and others were cleared. It is believed that this will release a great deal of institutional investment, with Bitcoin no longer being considered a strange and exotic asset class. It will instead come to be seen as a standard part of many portfolios. Interestingly, the real announcement came shortly after a false one. The SEC's Twitter account was hacked on Tuesday and a fake tweet claiming the pro approval of the Bitcoin spot ETF was posted, but that didn't stop the actual approval being posted just a day later. Needless to say, this is a fantastic and welcome news. So how will a Bitcoin ETF help the Web3 space? Now that this has come to pass, what does it mean for crypto? The key takeaway is that it will be a huge step forward towards the widespread adoption of Bitcoin. The formal recognition of Bitcoin by the world's prominent financial institutions lends more credibility to the entire Web3 ecosystem. This recognition underscores the growing acceptance of Bitcoin within the global financial landscape, thereby enhancing its status as a legitimate asset. What's more, the existence of Bitcoin spot ETF offers a clear signal that digital assets have achieved a broader interest and significance. This could make it easier to clear future regulatory hurdles and even establishes precedents for the creation of spot ETFs for other crypto assets. Viewed from the other direction, a Bitcoin spot ETF would also represent uh, progress in legitimization of Bitcoin, offering it more penetration into traditional financial markets. It will now be possible to gain exposure to Bitcoin with a retirement vehicle like a 401k or a plain brokerage account, for example. Since Bitcoin spot ETF will make it much easier to invest in Bitcoin through traditional means, it could also lead to additional waves of adoption. Even better, with more capital, liquidity and trading volume in the space, Bitcoin's famed volatility might begin to dampen. As the most Bitcoin-aligned Layer 1 project, these are all developments that would please the core community. In conclusion, the recent approval of Bitcoin Spot ETF is a significant milestone simplifying access for traditional investors and boosting Bitcoin's legitimacy globally. For core, deeply aligned with Bitcoin, this marks a bridge between traditional finance and Web3, enhancing the credibility of the entire ecosystem. The recognition by major financial institutions sets the stage for a broader acceptance, regulatory progress, and potential future ETFs for other crypto assets. The core community anticipates positive impacts on adoption, liquidity, and Bitcoin. Exciting time ahead! Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.